Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr. Uh, something I want to talk about is depersonalization. It's a symptom of a lot of different mental disorders and uh, schizophrenia and different things. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, I guess, if you haven't felt it. Um, the best way for me to describe is it's like driving a car, except you're the car. So like when I drive a car, I'm completely in control of it. Okay, I control left, right, faster, slower, but I'm not the car. Um, at no point do I think, whoa, I'm this car, right? Like, like when you drive. So I think depersonalization is a lot like that. It's like you're in control of this body, but I don't know, you, there's still a, this disconnection from it. Uh, mine comes and goes. I think I always feel, I always feel disconnected. Um, to a degree, and then sometimes extremely so. So last week was, I had, I just kind of felt very detached, detached from reality, detached from myself, and it was more like I talk myself through things, get up, go to this, put on these clothes. It's not like I just do anything, it's very making yourself do things, like turning on a car, hitting the gas pedal to make it go. Um, it's not always like this, but I, I definitely feel it's like having to be in control of something, having to control everything you or I do. Um, ever since from like a really young age, I I used to, well, what I used to call it, and I've said this before, is watching TV in my head, and that is where I would um, just pretty much unhook from reality, and I would watch like my own cartoons in my head that I made up, like whether it was a cartoon I'd seen before, whatever, I, I could completely disconnect from that and that's what I call it, watching TV in my head. Um, I guess it's kind of like daydreaming except I can literally like unhook completely and go inside my head. Um, I don't, I don't really like to do it much anymore. I find myself sometimes doing it just I don't know how to get away, but I try and avoid it now because I, I I have had the moments where I'm stuck like that, and I I it's very scary. Um, it's one thing where you can kind of control it. It's another thing where you, you I suddenly realize I'm lost in my head and I can't get out, um, and somehow I just come to. So I don't do like I don't play around with it as much anymore, um, just because I do worry. You don't recognize yourself. You look in the mirror. And sometimes I, I know it's me, but I can't look for very long. Um, mirrors mess with my head. Uh, I dart my eyes across them pretty much just to check things. But um, I, I can't look at a mirror for probably longer than a, a handful of seconds because it starts to confuse me. And um, it's like I, I don't control the reflection. And that's scary to me. Uh and it can become scary very, very quickly. I guess I've never really made a video hitting on this because I don't know, there is no, you know, how do you deal with this kind of thing. I don't, I don't know. For me, a lot of the times I don't realize that I'm disconnecting from reality until I'm pretty far gone. It takes me actually being like, oh wow, I'm pretty sick um, to notice it. One of the first um, symptoms is, I just kind of feel like, I don't know, lost. Depersonalization from um, physical body. Uh, the worst I've ever had is when I, I get out of my head like I actually go fully psychotic. And I've had things where like I've lost my arm. And it's freaky because it was like I remember being in bed and um, this is when I lived at home and I like was calling for my mom because I was, I was out of my head. And I kept, I kept losing my arm. She was like trying to calm me down. I kept losing my arm. Like, how do you tell somebody you didn't? Your, your arm's still attached to you. But I, to me, it kept losing. And I've I've had recently where I got like um, out of my head, and body parts would move without you know me controlling them. Um, I know I was really sick. Uh, I guess about a couple months back. But I, I freaked out because my arm wouldn't stop moving and I grabbed my pillow and I remember always holding my pillow over my arm to hold it still because it was freaking me out. It kept like moving like a snake and I'm like, no, <laughs> stop it. Uh, 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know where you go from that. It's like, well, well hey, what did you do to make it better? I held my arm down until it stopped it. That That's my answer. If you're... If you're someone like that, like me, not not like you're weird, like not like me, um, I know it's scary. It's okay though. So what? I have a lot of um, issues with, I guess, body image. Um, I don't know if it's because I feel disconnected or what, but a lot of times I don't. I don't know. I think if you ever watch me in like day-to-day -day life, because I've actually, I teach modeling acting classes. I've had students kind of pick up on some of my mannerisms before. But um, one thing is I'm always kind of checking like my hands because it sometimes feels like I'm not in control of my fingers. Like they just like, it's like I have to, I'm like, oh, oh I am doing that. Huh. And then I start feeling weird. And if I think about it, like like right now, I'm like, actually, I'm kind of like making myself hallucinate a little bit. I, yeah, it's it's been pretty easy the past few weeks to set off hallucinations. But um, like right now, uh, I don't, why did I even do this? Uh, anyway, they start to feel like I'm not in control and they're moving on their own kind of thing. And yeah, we're just going to stop because I'm starting to trip myself out as I'm making a video. Awesome. It's okay not to be normal. It's okay to feel disconnected. It's okay to be confused. I don't I don't know what else to say other than that. I'm Rachel Starr. like you know to live outside I'm just gonna start over I don't like the way this is going I'm starting to trip myself out as I'm making a video awesome it's been a rough week uh where are we going with this I don't know my chest looks great at this angle I'm gonna do every video like this